ripe, luscious beauties fairly bursting with vitamins. Hey there. How's it going? Wow. Looking awful red today. Plump, just like I like it. Mmm. Juicy. Welcome to another episode of Sweet Heat, and it is my literal favorite time of the year. It's tomato season. Late summer, the tomatoes are like really incredible, although to be perfectly honest, they're always in season here, but they're actually particularly good. And one of the things that I was thinking um, when I was trying to figure out what I wanted to cook for this episode is like, why aren't fried red tomatoes a thing? Like why fried green tomatoes? I've actually pondered this a lot and I don't actually know the answer to that question. So that's what we're gonna be doing. We're gonna fry up some red tomatoes and make an incredible fried red tomato sandwich. Make a really nice herby, creamy, a mayo, kind of ranchy-like dressing to go with it. Sliced cucumbers, toasted bread. It's gonna be super delicious. It screams summer. I'm so excited. Okay, so the sweet in this dish is gonna come from these amazingly delicious tomatoes. I actually, as you saw, I just took a bite. Juicy. And I can attest that they're not only very juicy, but they're slightly acidic and really, really, really sweet. So once we fry them, they're gonna actually get a little bit sweeter and they're gonna pair really nicely with this amazing chili de arbol chili oil that I'm gonna make. It's just gonna add a little bit of lusciousness and a lot of heat and it's gonna be really beautiful and red. I'm gonna fry these in panko. I love panko so much. Panko is a Japanese style breadcrumb. It doesn't look like ordinary bread crumbs. They're like little shards of, of bread. And you'll get those really nice little craggy bits that, that fry up and give you that really amazing texture um, after they're fried. And then I'm going to also make this really amazing lemon basil cream. So it's a really simple sauce. I use it for salad dressings. I use it for like vegetable forward sandwiches. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is make the sauces. Okay, so the first sauce we're gonna make is the lemon basil cream. So I'm using mayonnaise and sour cream as the base. I really like the combination of mayo and dairy. I think it adds a creaminess and it just makes it pair so nicely with fresh vegetables. So the first thing I'm gonna do is zest a lemon. I like lemon flavor. And so whenever I measure out zest of any kind, I always pack it in. And I mean, you don't have to go insane with it. <laughs> Um, but you know, just kind of push it in and then where it stops, then that is what I would consider to be a teaspoon of zest. Okay, so now that that's done, I am going to juice a lemon. So I'm using a quarter cup of lemon juice. And then I have some beautiful herbs from upstairs. I went and picked some of my basil, which is now flowering. So it's the perfect time to cut it. And whenever I cut basil, I sort of just pretend like you're rolling a cigar or another thing that you might smoke. And just hold them like that and then just cut across. To me, it's the, the easiest way to get a really nice cut. And this is some really beautiful parsley. Another herb that I think pairs really well with lemon. I wrote in the recipe to use chives for this and I would have preferred chives. Chives are another one of those ingredients that are really hard for me to find. So I'm just gonna use some scallions and I'm just gonna chop them pretty finely. Okay, so you wanna season at the end, because um, sometimes there's a little bit of salt or sodium in sour cream and your mayo may be really, really salty. So 
Definitely needs some salt. I'm probably gonna add about, that was probably about half a teaspoon. And then I like a lot of pepper. Mm. Mm. Yeah, that's really good. Okay, so this is good. I'm gonna put it in the refrigerator and then we will make the chili oil. Okay, so this sauce is super simple. It's three ingredients, a cup of oil, 20 grams of chili de arbol, and half a teaspoon of salt. You basically just throw it in the blender and blend it until it's completely smooth. It's gonna take a few minutes, but it's really, really delicious. It keeps forever. I have a cup of oil that I made a couple of weeks ago in the refrigerator, and it's great on everything. Vegetables, fish, chicken, meat, burgers, anything. To bread knife. So welcome to the slicing portion of the show. So the first thing we're gonna do is slice the bread and then we will slice the tomatoes. But I wanna talk a little bit about the bread. So use whatever bread you have. I really like sourdough bowls and there's a, a really delicious bakery near my house and they make amazing sourdough, so that's what I got. I'm going to cut very thin slices of this bread. These are probably gonna be a little less than a half an inch thick. The bread in this case is there to hold everything together. So for the tomatoes, um, I have two varieties that are pretty common here. Uh, one is more of like a beef steak, the other is aroma. The thing to remember when you select the tomatoes, you want them to be ripe, but you don't want them to be soft. What it will end up happening is they'll get, they'll basically lose their shape and sort of melt in the pan when you fry them. So you want something that actually has a little bit texture to it because even if it's super firm um, before you fry it up, once it's fried, it's gonna get really soft. So you can use your bread knife to cut this, but I actually prefer um, my chef's knife. And then this is where you want slightly thicker slices. I want them to be really kind of meaty and you can see this is a firm tomato. It's not like super, super juicy and that's totally fine. All right, let's go fry. So I'm, I put probably about two to three tablespoons of oil in there. I'm just using veg oil. So you can see the oil starting to shimmer. So that's my cue that the oil is getting nice and hot. The other thing that I'm gonna do is I have a little clump of the, uh, the coating from the tomatoes. I'm gonna drop that in and you see it starts to sizzle. That's how you know that the oil is ready. Now I'm just gonna gently drop my tomatoes in. I think people just don't know how to cook vegetables properly. And I think that if they cooked vegetables well, they'd eat more of them because they're like incredibly delicious. These look so good, oh my God. So as soon as they come out of the oil, make sure you season them with salt. Okay, so I was gonna say that I ate breakfast this time and so my sandwich is probably gonna be easier to eat because I'm not gonna like throw a bunch of stuff on it, but actually now I'm really hungry, so it might actually get a little crazy. 
but I'm gonna try and like control myself. So, all right, I think it's assembly time. Everything is out and it looks incredibly fresh. I feel like I'm having a little spa day uh, with my spa water and tomatoes, but don't worry. I will put some delicious fat things on it. Wow, that looks really delicious. <laughs> and this is my summery spa lunch. Ah, oh, so excited. It looks so good. It's also kind of ridiculous looking, but it's exactly what I want to be eating. All right. Yeah, it's gonna be a little difficult to eat, but I'm here for it. <laughs> <laughs> Every time. <laughs> so many things are happening. Like the bread is like the perfect texture. It's like crispy on the outside and a little bit chewy on the inside. The tomato is slightly warm and you still have the crunch of the panko, but it's like, it's got that nice sweetness. The heat of the chili oil just cuts right through it. And then you get this fresh, bright cucumber, herby, creamy situation. It's almost like a raita which is really nice. It's like cold, really refreshing. It's like all the flavors together are just so incredible. Okay, I'm gonna taste my spa water now. Oh, ice cold, lemon cucumber water. Uh, you can actually throw your herbs in there if you want, if you have any leftover herbs. I'm going in for another one. Oh, my tomato slipped out. Back in you go. Oh. Mm. Mm -hmm. This is such a satisfying sandwich. Fried red tomatoes should be a thing. I need everybody that's watching this video to go out there and make fried red tomatoes, post about it. We need to get rid of fried green tomatoes. Fried red tomatoes are the way to go. And as always, if you like me, if you like this recipe, if you wanna see more Sweet Heat, make sure you hit like and subscribe and you will be notified as soon as there's another ridiculous vegetarian or maybe porky dish.